council manager form of government that you heard about. It includes seven city council positions, five single member districts, and two at-large positions make up the seven council positions that are being proposed. The right for initiative, referendum, and recall is part of that home rule charter. I'll go into a little more detail on another slide on those. Amendment and revisions to the charter are also spelled out in the proposed charter. As stated previously and included in Fulster's charter, the manager is appointed and removed by the city council. The manager is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations and the city manager is beholden to city council's policies no matter what. It's his job to carry those out, period. His or her, excuse me. The Charter Commission felt that seven council members was a good number given the population growth faced by the city. The population today is approximately 7,959, and the city has seen about a thousand percent growth since 2000. It's unbelievable. Council makeup is proposed again to have five members serving single member districts, two serving at large. Uh, the implementation for this would occur over four elections to phase that in. The mayor would be elected at large, as it is now. Term limits for three consecutive two-year terms would be the limit that any individual could serve on council or its mayor. The single member districts would be determined by demographics, not geography. Council hires, would hire independent experts to guide the process. Council controls the process just like the state legislature does. Based on the current population, each district would contain about 1,600 residents in those, six, in those single member districts. This must be evaluated every census, basically every 10 years, but can be changed more frequently based on changes in population, if necessary. The at-large members would be elected by all the voters in the city. Council may, but is not compelled to modify for geographic restrictions. Even if modified, all voters in the city would vote on these candidates. The mayor presides at council meetings. He, he would give up the role as the chief executive officer of the city. The city manager would assume that role. Only votes, the mayor would only vote in the event of a tie. He or she would continue to make appointments to committees and retain those emergency powers under state law. The proposed charter provides residents the powers of initiative, referendum, and recall, as you heard from Dr. Thurman. The initiative means that if enough registered voters agree that they then they may enact ordinances based on initiatives presented directly to the voters. Initiative requires a valid petition signed by 10% of the voters that are registered prior to the last election. <coughs> referendum, the voters may also hold referendums to reject certain ordinances at the ballot box. Referendum requires a valid petition signed by 10% of the voters registered prior to the last election. The power of initiative and referendum cannot be used to modify certain ordinances, including budget, taxation, zoning, among others. And recall. The voters can also recall their elected officials. Recall requires a valid petition signed by 20% of voters registered prior to the last election. And if, if the petition is successful, there would be a, an election to act physically recall that council member. And under general law, there is no provision for these powers. Amendments to the charter. The city council must appoint a committee to review the charter every five years. However, it can appoint such a committee
committee every two years, if so desired. The charter is meant to be a living document subject to the desires of an empowered electorate. And again, if there 